Okay, so why doesn't goal setting work? Now, I personally, you know, uh, spent many years, I, probably you did that too, when you actually uh, take the goals that you want and you write them down, you know, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna plan this, I'm gonna put this tomorrow on Monday, and then on Wednesday, and da da da, -da. All that is good, but usually doesn't work, let's face it. Uh, why doesn't it work? Well, in this video I'll be discussing the, the underlying ideas of why this uh, goal setting doesn't work for most people, let's face it. So, first of all, the very basic premise is uh, goal setting, uh, the way that it's presented, is actually a very shallow activity. Okay? The problem is that, you know, people who are lost in their psyche, in their beliefs, in their uh, what they want to do in life, what they don't want to do in life, they don't know either things, they're not sure of themselves, they're not confident, and then they see, you know, goal setting, you know, and uh, this program that helps you set up goals, and they're like, oh, I'm just going to set up goals and do goals and do stuff and I'm going to achieve, right? Seems pretty self-evident, a logical sequence, you know, what can go wrong? Well, obviously, it doesn't really go as planned, right? I mean, it, as a side note, it's interesting how most the most popular things that are spreading around are actually not that true or not that effective, right? So, why is it not effective? Why is goal setting such an inefficient uh, way to do things? Well, uh, for many years I, I tried this method as well. You know, that, like you decide on a goal and then you set the goals and then somehow you hope that you will, you know, get down to doing it. But as uh, most of us have noticed, it's actually very inefficient. And so for, for, this, uh, for, this, for the sake of this video, let's take two people. Let's take a person who is like doing some dream job or whatever, you know, and he's like succeeding, he's working all the time. Uh, and let's take a person who wants to write down goals to achieve something. And let's, you know, for the metaphor, let's take two stereotype people and compare, you know, their psyche in general terms and I think this is where you will start understanding what is the difference between setting goals and actually you know working and reaching your goals all the time it's a very subtle difference but if you understand it this will probably change your whole outlook on uh, you know psychology and life in general so let's start with the uh, the goal setter you know what, let's start with the one who already is doing these things. So how does his life look like? Does he need to set goals or something like that? I mean, he might write down things, you know, let's take some sort of a, you know, a pro athlete or some star, you know, or some pro businessman, you know, who is like obviously living the life and also working all the time, you know, passionately. So. Is, do you think he goes down and he searches for some program on goal setting and then he like writes down these goals and he oh yeah I should do that I mean he might do that but do you think that's the the reason why he's doing that no it's not it's not the reason why he's doing it it's not because he has paper and he can write stuff down that's not what makes a person productive or passionate or the ability to work all the time on your, you know, desires, your goals. That not, that's not what makes it happen. What makes it happen, actually, is that the person who is doing that has so much desire, such strong passion, such clear ideals, that to him, sitting down and doing the job that he wants to do is just like, of course, I don't even want to do anything else. I'm just going to do that. I have to do that. It's amazing. I like doing that. So this is the psychological profile of that type of person, right? Uh, now, for the sake of this video, let's take a sample of the other guy, of the guy who has no idea what to do in his life. He has conflicting beliefs. Yeah, you know, his psychology is all over the place. He doesn't get what's going on and all of that. Uh, how does he approach this? He probably has no real passion for any single thing. He's confused. 
So he hears this, that set your goals and your goals will come true. And he's like, oh, okay, what do I want? Well, I guess I would like to make money. Well, being fit might be a good idea. So I'll write that down three times a week. Yeah, I want to be fit. Yeah, okay, what else? Uh, you know, meditation. Yeah, me why? Uh, I heard that it's good, so I'll, I'll add meditation to my goals so that I would you know, reach my goals. So we write that down. I mean, can you see the, the, the difference of perspective? And this is the difference. The people who succeed, who perform, they are not like that because they know some magic uh, goal writing down tip, okay? This is all he might be doing at, and he might be a chaotic artist who doesn't write down anything, and he still might be owning whatever he's doing. The reason why this regular quote-unquote person can't succeed is because he doesn't have any foundation for what he's doing. And this is why goal setting for most people doesn't work. Goal setting is the expression of your beliefs and passion being funneled. It's when you have so much, so, so, such empowering beliefs and so much passion that you're like, I, I have to do something and I want to do so much. Then you go, I need to organize this to be as efficient as possible. So you see, it doesn't come, the goal setting is not the first step. The goal setting is just like the middle step, like you already know everything, you're already passionate, you already want to do stuff. You just write down your goals or your schedule to just, you know, so that it would be efficient, so that you wouldn't forget some things because you have so much. Again, the first person lacks this. The first person doesn't have the backbone to back it up. He doesn't have the belief systems in place to make it happen. He's not loving it. He's not burning with desire for that. He doesn't have beliefs, you know, that can cut through stone to reach whatever he wants. He doesn't have all these qualities, but he hears this tip, you know, that quote unquote successful people do, and he tries to imitate that. You know, it's it's funny. Uh, it's you know one of those things where the the students you know when they come to some sort of a guru or master they go like oh he's walking you know with his hands behind his back so it must be why he's like that so i will walk with hands behind my back as well and you know this will bring me closer to you know what he understands no 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 don't look at surface level stuff goal setting is a shallow way of looking at things you will not reach your goals if the only backbone for your goals is goal setting on a piece of paper that's just a symptom it means nothing you can throw it away okay that's when you have passion when you have your when your all desires are aligned to one and you know what to do you know you know you're just itching to get started uh, that's when goal setting works so this is why goal setting doesn't work it's simply a shallow uh, pretending to be uh, some sort of a person thing it's not the thing that actually moves these people goal setting is not interesting it's boring what brings people to perform to do to succeed is their passion is their beliefs that they have cultivated not goal setting.